Hey, badass business owners. Today, we're going to talk about your money that your business makes. Yes, your business made some money, but the question is, is the business actually profitable? Today, we're going to talk about that because there's a big difference between business profits and employee wages, and it does impact the question of, is your business profitable? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to assume that you took home $3,000 a month in your business. That's how much money you take out of the business and you put in your pocket. Regardless of the type of business that you have, that's what you do. And if we take that $3,000 times 12 months out of the year, that means you take out $36,000 out of your business. Now we're going to assume something because a lot of you just take that money, but we're going to assume that the business at least broke even or any other money that was profitable in the business stayed in the business because you were leaving it as retained earnings to help grow the business. You made a conscious decision to take out $36,000 from the business. Now let's break this down a little bit because remember, you as a business owner actually wear two hats in your business. The first one is as an employee. And this is because you're in there and you're having to create the product, you're having to make the product, or you're having to do the service yourself. In which case, you need to make sure that you are accounting for a fair wage for the work that you're doing in the business. Because if you were to hire someone off the street, that's what you need to pay them. And we're going to dive into that a little bit more here in a second. But you also get paid as the business owner. And that is based off of the success of the business. That's how you really know if a business is profitable. So let's take a closer look at this $36,000. Because the question becomes how much of the 36 was for employee wages versus owner's profits. Because the once again, owner's profits means the business is actually profitable. What we're going to do is we're going to assume that as a business owner, you work 65 hours a week in the business. Now I can already hear it. Some of you are going to say, oh my God, I wish I only worked 65 because you work 70, 80, whatever. Put your number in, but we're just going to break this down. Some of you work less because it's a part-time gig, but we're just going to go with 65 hours. Now remember, you're wearing two hats, right? So out of that 65 hours every week, 45 of those hours are as an employee, actually doing the doing, actually making what it is that you sell. Okay. The other 20 hours is spent running the business, billing people, scheduling the actual physical pieces of you running the business. They're two different hats that you're wearing in your business. All right. So we're going to assume 45 hours. Now we're also going to assume that you take a couple weeks off. So the business is actually running and operating 50 weeks out of the year. So if we look at these hours, we're going to come up with a couple numbers, 50 weeks times 45 hours a week means that as a employee in your business, you're working 2250 hours every single year. Now, if we take that 50 hours times the 20 hours you're spent as a business owner, it tells you that a thousand of your hours are spent as a business owner in your business, which means you've worked a total of 3250 hours in the actual business. Follow that along and you're going to do the exact same thing for yours when you go to do your example. Now we're going to go back to our $36,000 that we took out of the business. Now we know we worked 3250 hours total and if we take that $36,000 divided by the total number of hours we worked, it means that we made on average $11.08 an hour. That's for all of our hats combined when we're working within that business, $11 an hour. Now the question becomes, did you pay yourself a fair wage? Because really as an employee, we need to account in our pricing a fair wage for those employee hours. And that $11 may not be it. Now for most people, it's going to be closer to $15 an hour, especially in today's environment and where things are going with the uh, minimum wage. Now, whatever your business is, you would plug that number in. Some of you, it will be higher. Some of you, it might be lower, but on average, it's about $15 an hour. So if we take that $15 an hour times the 22 50 employee hours, right? Because all we're concerned about at this stage is the employee piece of the entire puzzle. So $15 times the 2250 tells us that a fair wage money that you should have made as in that business is going to be 33750 Okay. So $33,750 bucks. That's what you would have made as a fair wage as an employee in the business. So let's go back to our 36,000. So our 36,000 minus that 33,750 tells us that there was a remainder of $2,000, 250 bucks. So as a business owner, you made a little over $2,000. Now, just for giggles, in case you were wondering, remember you worked a thousand hours. Well, if you take that 2250 divided by a thousand hours as a business owner, you made $2 and 25 cents 
ouch, okay? But at least you know that the business was profitable, right? Because that's really the question, was the business profitable? So technically the answer is yes. The fair employee wages were paid and there was money left over in our example. But this is how close it can run depending upon how you structure your hours and how you run your hours. Let's go back to our $36,000. Let's just say that instead of 45 hours, if you're really honest with yourself, you're really working about 50 hours as an employee in the business. Well, 50 hours times the 50 weeks means you work 2,500 hours as an employee. And if we take that 2,500 times that fair wage of $15, the answer actually now changes to 37,500. And guess what? This business is no longer profitable because if we go back a screen, look at here, they made the employee wages should have been 37, but they only took 36. So now they are at a negative 1500, which means they made no money as a business owner. If anything, they had to come out of their pocket to help keep the business going out of the wages that they should have earned as a fair wages. That's how important it is to understand how much of your time is actually spent as an employee versus as a business owner. Because sometimes we uh, we confuse ourselves and we make ourselves think that we're making money because we took that $36,000. But actually, when we really look at it, we weren't as profitable as we thought we were. Now, the goal is not to depress you by showing these, these numbers, but rather the goal is to fire you up up. Because here's the thing, you created a business, you didn't just create a job. If you wanted to go out and create a job, well, congratulations, clap, 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 you did exactly what it is that you wanted to do. But I'm going to assume your goal is to try and build a business. Now remember, I preach this number one calculation all the time, sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. And when you're wearing your employee you, you're getting paid up here out of cost of goods. Because if you make the product, if you create the product or you are the service itself. If the service can't be done without you, it is part of your cost of goods. Otherwise, it's more of an expense if you're an employee in the business. But your employee wages for the vast majority of you are going to be up here in your cost of goods. But that's not where we put it. We tend to only put it down here in profits. And the reality is the only person being paid out of profits is the owner you. Okay. So your employee, you gets paid up here and your profit, you gets paid down here, which is why I preach all the time that you got to make sure that you price your stuff correctly. So you can make sure that your business is profitable. And the only way that you know that is if you know and understand your business numbers, which is what we try to preach here on the channel. Listen, you have to understand your true profits. And the only way you can understand those profits is to understand the flow of money in your business and how that money goes out and how you pay yourself as well as anybody else that you pay. The key to remember is that you get paid as an employee for the work that you do a fair wage as an employee and as the owner, which is based off the success of the business. I will preach this over and over in every single video until this really get sunk in into your head because this is how you're going to make profit in your businesses to understand this. Because remember, the goal is to create a profitable business, not just to be able to take home some money. All right. I want you to get to the point where you're making $100,000 in profit to be able to take out of the business, not just be able to survive off of this job that you have created. Now, if you want to learn more on this topic, I do have this other video over here, pay yourself correctly. I dive in a little bit more for some people that want to do it. And I will continue to create even more content for you in regards to this. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. So you never miss out on any of these videos that I'm putting together because I would love to be part of your journey and I will continue to do my part to help out with that. Get out there and be the badass that I know you are.